Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I hope everyone was safe today and made it home and just enjoying the rest of your evening and enjoying the rest of your night. So I'm back again today with the next chapter in Numbers. So we left off on chapter 12 in Numbers with Miriam and Aaron and how they opposed Moses. And because they they spoke against Moses and um. The Lord called them, basically called them out. He called them all together and he addressed it um, to um, Aaron and um, Miriam. And of course, behind that, of course, he got angry. He was upset about that because they were speaking against Moses in such a way. And so leprosy fell upon Miriam behind that. So she had to be confined for seven days. And then, of course, after seven days, and that's when she was able to come back out, um, she was brought back out. So that's what we left off in in Numbers on chapter 12. So here we are moving on. Numbers chapter 13. Exploring canon and the report on the exploration. Because remember when we last left off on chapter 12, at the end of it, it was saying after she was brought back, the people left. Because they didn't move until she was brought out of confinement. So then now she's brought out of confinement. And so now they have left Hazroth and encamped in the desert of Paran. So here it is. Now we're reading on them exploring Canaan and the report on the exploration because they're 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 exploring it. So you exploring something, you're checking it out, you're you know looking whatever you know whatever you're looking for whatever, and the results are here. The report. What's your results? And now you're reporting on your findings or whatever. So here that's what we're reading about today. So um, we'll start off with a word of prayer. And then we'll get right into our chapter. Love you. See you later. Be safe. Oh, excuse me. I'm okay. All right. So um, we're going to do a word prayer. All right. Heavenly Father, um, thank you so much for your blessings today. God, as we are about to read Numbers chapter 13, God, I ask that your spirit will fall down upon us, that you will speak into our hearts and to our minds. Help us to enjoy reading your word. Help us to desire it every day. Help us to enjoy praying and doing all these great things with you, Father. Help us to enjoy it. And God, not only let us enjoy it, but help us to desire it, God, and want it so much and let it be a part of us. But God, help us to understand what we're reading, God. Help us to learn from it. Help us to receive it. Help us to apply it, God. But just be with us right now, Lord God, as we spend some time with you. God, we thank you so much and we love you, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right. Numbers 13. The Lord said to Moses, send some men to explore the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites from each ancestral tribe, send one of its leaders. So at the Lord's command, Moses sent them out from the desert of Paran. All of them were leaders of the Israelites. These are their names. From the tribe of Reuben, Shamu, son of Sacher. From the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, son of Hori. From the tribe of Judah, Caleb, son of Jephunneh. From the tribe of Issachar, Egal, son of Joseph. From the tribe of Ephraim, Hosea, Hosea, son of Nun, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, son of Raphu, from the tribe of Zebulon, Gadiel, son of Sodi, from the tribe of Manasseh, a tribe of Joseph, Gadi, son of Susi, from the tribe of Dan, Amiel, son of Gamali, from the tribe of Asher, Sether, son of Michael, from the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, son of Vapsi, from the tribe of Gad, Gael, son of Maki. And these were all the sons of Israel. Uh, hold on. Was this, I think his name was Jacob. Uh, I can't believe I forgot that. But I think it was Jacob. And his name was changed to Israel. Let me be sure, y'all, because I don't want to be saying the wrong thing and stuff. And y'all come back at me like, uh-uh, you got us all wrong. And you done said all the wrong stuff. We don't want to do that. So let me make sure I said the right one. Oh, that's too far back. 
cannot believe I'm gonna sit up here and forgot. I don't think I did, but I'm thinking I did. But sometimes I think too deep on stuff and really didn't forget. Just I thought I did, but just to be sure. But uh, hold on. Yeah, I think it was Jacob. Jacob later his son's name turned. Jacob later name turned. I mean, changed to. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, I was right. Okay, after Jacob returned from Padan Haran, he appeared. Again, bless God said, your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be Israel. So he named him Israel. Yeah. So Jacob had the 12 sons, which were the sons that we just named. These were the, son, uh, the, name, the sons that we just named from each tribe of the ones that um, went out to explore. Because God said, send some men to explore the land of Canaan. Okay, so from each ancestral tribe, send one of one of its leaders. So each ancestral tribe, which was the tribe of Reuben, all of Israel's sons. Okay, so these are the names of the men Moses sent to explore the land. Moses gave Hosea, son of Nun, the name Joshua. When Moses sent them to explore Canaan, he said, go up through the Negev and go into the hill country. See what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak, few or many. What kind of land do they live in? Is it good or bad? What kind of towns do they live in? Are they unwelled or fortified? How is the soil? Is it fertile or, or poor? Are there trees on it or not? Do your best to bring back some of the fruit of the land. It was the season for the first ripe grapes. So they went up and explored the land from the desert of Zin as far as Rehob, Rehob toward Lebo Hamath. They went up through the Negev and came to Hebron, where Ahiman, Shishai, and Talma, the descendants of Anak, lived. Hebron had been built seven years before zone in Egypt. When they reached the valley of Eshkol, they cut off a branch bearing a single cluster of grapes. Two of the men carried it on a pole between them along with some pomegranates and figs. I never had pomegranates before. The, that place was called the valley of Eshkol because of the cluster of grapes the Israelites cut off there. At the end of 40 days, they returned from exploring the land. So they were there for 40 days. And at the end of that, they returned to the land to where Moses and the rest of the people were at. Okay. So that was them being sent off to explore Canaan to, you know, see about all these different things about whether the land was fertile, if there were a lot of people or less people, if they were weak or strong, all these different things. They were going there for numerous reasons to check all of these things out. And they were there for 40 days and they returned afterwards. So here's the report on the exploration. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. So they came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole community. And at um at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them and to the whole assembly and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses the, this account. We went into the land to which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here its fruit, here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful and the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites live in the Negev. The Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, 
we should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Okay, But the men who had gone up with him said, we can't attack those people. They are stronger than we are. And they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. They said the land we explored devours those living in it. All the people we saw there are of great size. We saw the Nephilim there. The descendants of Enoch came from the Nephilim. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes and we looked the same to them. So the Nephilim, I think we read about that a while ago. So we're going to pull that up just to make sure I got the right understanding for that. So Nephilim means they are mysterious beings or people mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. They are large and strong. The word Nephilim is loosely translated as giants in some Bibles, but left untranslated in others. Okay. Some traditional Jewish explanations inter interpret them as fallen angels. Okay. So. Yeah, so basically the Nephilim are very tall people. They're like giants. And um, so we're going to also, hold on. Okay. We're going to go back to um, when Noah first appeared in the Bible. So they said that they saw Nephilim there. The descendants of Anak came from the Nephilim. So we already just discussed, we pulled up Nephilim and that means like very, they're like large, they're large and strong people, almost like giants. And here they're giving a report that they're saying that they saw these people there where they went. So, and they said they seem like grasshoppers to them. So these people looking down at you, you almost look like a bug to them almost because of how big and tall they are. And the first mention of this word was in back when um, Noah went the flood. So we're going to go back to Noah and the flood, which is Genesis chapter. Let's see. Chapter six, Genesis chapter six, verse four. It says, um, when men became, be, no, I'm going to read chapter, verse, chapter 6, verse 1, and we're going to read down. Um, and we're going to see that word again, Nephilim, that we just read to go back to what we just read and what he was saying that they saw. When men begin, this is chap, Genesis chapter 6. When men began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is mortal. His days will be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of men and had children by them, they were the heroes of old men of renown. So back in um, before the flood occurred, there were Nephilim here. And we're reading, we know Nephilim were like really tall, giant men. Yep. And they were... Um, the... Um, the sons of God, they were having children and marrying these women. Yep. So the um, sons of God, 
they were marrying these women and um having babies with them and the Lord was like, Oh no, 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 this this is not what happened. So yeah. So that's of course when the no the um flood ended up coming about. But this was the beginning of the flood when God started, you know, the beginning of it was chapter five, of course Genesis chapter five, but then the flood came about I look like in chapter six or seven. But um yeah, so that we hear of this word first mentioned was in chapter Genesis chapter six, the Nephilim. They were giant men on the earth. Okay, so where are we at? Oh, so we're done with that. So we're done with uh, chapter Numbers chapter thirteen. So yeah, so maybe you just learned something new today that um the, this word Nephilim, the uh, giants. So yeah. Anytime you learn something new, it's always a great blessing to be able to learn something and be like, oh, and pass it forward. When you learn something, pass it on. Like what they say, sharing is caring because it really is caring. I love to share things that I'm learning, things that I know. I love sharing it with others because you just never know who did not know. And then when they learn of them, I'm like, wow, really? You know, so share what you learn and um, bless someone with that knowledge. But yeah, that was their report of um, them exploring Canaan and what they saw there. And they saw some great things, but um, some of the men, they were ready and was like, hey, let's go overtake them. Let's go attack them. And they was like, no, they are strong. They are like giants. Like, no, we're not trying to do that. <laughs> Just, you know, like verbatim trying to. Somebody told you after you just went and peeked these people out, you know, they were big like that. And they were very tall over you. Like, do you want to go attack them too? I don't think so. <laughs> but hey, if the Lord says do it, do it. Because obviously if he's sending you to do it, he's going to let you get the victory out of it. So, but yeah, that was the report and what they saw there. And so they did as Moses had told them to do. Well, the Lord told Moses to do which was send them out there so they did that and so they came back with their findings and of course they bought the fruit um so yep yeah, that was that so tomorrow we'll be on our next chapter numbers chapter 14 the people rebel so we'll find out about that like who rebel who rebel We'll find out about that tomorrow. So stay tuned, y'all, so we can find out who rebelled. But anyway, thank you all for listening and tuning in. I pray and hope that you were blessed and that you enjoyed it and that you continue to um, support, continue to come in and come on whenever you can. This video is always posted. Even if you don't catch my live, you can catch it later and just, you know, get at it at your own, in your own convenience or however. But I pray that you're just going to be blessed by it. I pray that, um, you can you'll be, you're able to learn with me as we continue to go on this journey with just reading the bible all the way through and just continue to pray for me as i pray for you all and i just pray you all have a great night and you all sleep peacefully and be blessed you know and make sure you're wearing them glove i mean we're social distancing and wearing your mask and um your um keeping those hands washed and don't forget to be a blessing to one another by being kind and loving and forgiving and helpful and caring. Just just be great to someone today, however you can. Whatever you can think of that God presses on your heart to do, just be that. But be good. Do the right thing. And um, let God work the rest of it. So I will leave you all with a word of prayer. And we will talk tomorrow god willing god i thank you so much for the opportunity lord it just fills my heart to be able to do this every day i know it's, it's been an ongoing thing for years now but god you always lead me back to this and lord if you're leading me back to this that desire is there it's for a reason god so there's no need to fight the desire 
when we have a burning desire within us to do something, God, we know that it is not on our own, God. It is you that has placed that desire in us. So help us to do what you have desired, put in our, put the desire in us to do. And God, just help us have a great night. Help us, help me to be able to continue to do this, Lord. Help me to bring your word to others, Lord. Help them to listen and be blessed by it. Help us all to be blessed together, God, because I'm learning with them, Lord. So help us to learn together. Help us to pray together, encourage each other together. But just use me to be a blessing. And in turn, use others to be a blessing to someone else, Lord. However you see fit, God, just bless us and see us through. Forgive us, God, and help us to continue to read and understand and just learn your word, God, and help us to gain whatever it is that we need to gain from it, Lord. Whatever you're speaking to us, God, help us to get it and help us to apply it. But see us through another day, God. We thank you and we love you. Forgive us all of our sins, God. And bless us tremendously, Father, in so many wonderful ways. But help us to put all our hope, our faith, and our trust in you, Father. Thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Thank you for everything. For I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, amen. All right, everyone, have a great day. Well, have a great night. Be safe and I love you and I will talk back with you soon. Bye.